My name is Ron. I'm a lead agent with Really. I'm here at an open house, a virtual open house over in Hayward. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom home, 1,871 square feet. And I'll flip the screen so you can check it out. So it's, it's, it's a beautiful home. I mean, you'll see the neighborhood, well-kept neighborhood. Time permitting, we'll, we'll walk through. I'll show you some of the other uh, areas here. We're next to a, a, a really beautiful park, uh, Stratford Park. The name of this community is, is called Brighton Village. It's one of the more desirable areas of Hayward, just due to the location um, and the build. It's a new home built 2004. Two car garage. I'll get to that in a minute, but as far as parking on the exterior goes, you're assigned uh, one um, parking spot. You can see it says uh, reserved right here. And anything that doesn't say reserved, it's uh, for your guests. You'll see the landscaping out in the front that is covered by the HOA. Speaking of which, uh, HOA is very minimal at 125. So let's walk in. Now, as we walk in, I, I want to, to point out a couple of things is the, the spaciousness of the home and all the natural light that this home gets. Stone flooring, stone, stone tiles throughout the bottom floor. Enough space in your in this room here for your uh, uh, in the living for, for couches, dining table, large windows. Again, it allows all the natural light to come in. Really, you love that chandelier. Nice little fireplace you can cozy up to while you watch TV. I'll stand here in the corner so you can get a sense as to the space that you have. Give you give the patio, we'll head there in a second. And on the far end, you can see the kitchen. In fact, we'll go there first. So one thing I appreciate, uh, appreciate about the house is how they utilize the space. Um, there's no wasted angles. Um, lots of storage as you can see in the kitchen already. Tons of uh, cabinet space for your food, pots, plates, utensils, you name it. Tons of counter space as well. Room for your espresso machine, mixers. And I mentioned storage. There's even more storage down over this way. In this hallway. Let me open this up here for you. I'd much rather to have the washer uh, dryer in here as opposed to the garage living room or bring it back upstairs as opposed to walking into the garage where it might be cold, dingy, so on and so forth. And uh, here's the half bath on the have guests. As you walk back, back into the kitchen, you know that we have uh, the recessed lighting. Again, they use the space really well here. In fact, I'll stand in the corner again so you can just appreciate. In fact, I'll sit on the counter here for a minute and you can see.
And then next to the kitchen, you have this little office nook. If you want to use it for such. And again, I, I you know mentioned again, lots of storage. So in addition to what you saw in the actual kitchen, you have this here where you can store even more more things in the garage. All right, All right, let's head back through the kitchen and I'll show the upstairs. So a couple things as I, as I walk upstairs, it's home, uh, those have central air conditioning and heating. Uh, the windows upstairs were replaced about two months ago. They're all dual pane, mill guard dual pane windows. You know, and it took really good care of this house. If you look at the disclosures and the inspections that were done, you'll see it's a very minimal list and really not much to do in terms of repair. Clean home, great owners, they took care of this. And again, more storage upstairs. As you walk up the stairs, there's a built-in cabinetry. Yes, that's a real sword. Not included with the sale, sorry. And again, as I, as I pan through before we head into the bedrooms, maybe you can't tell in the video, but it does have high, high vaulted ceilings on the second floor. So again, it doesn't feel cramped either on the first floor or second floor, it just has this you know, great open feeling as you walk through. So as, as you, you know, walk up the stairs, there's the stairs here, and as you walk up, and you make a right, sorry, you'll see one of the three bedrooms. So the owner uses this as his uh, office slash bedroom for guests, I would imagine. Again, you get the high ceilings. And bathroom number two is actually shared. It's Jack and Jill style. I'll go in there in a minute, but it's shared with this bedroom along with bedroom three. And let's head into there really quick. Love the bed sheets. I'm a, I'm a gamer myself, so I can appreciate Mario and Yoshi, Luigi. And that's a little peek out of the window here. Okay, so similar to downstairs, you get a lot of great natural light coming into this room. And here's the, uh, the bathroom. That I mentioned earlier, bathroom number two, which is shared between two bedrooms. Got dual vanity. Shower over tub. And again, as mentioned, it is connected with that second um, bedroom. All right, well, let's uh, head back into the bedroom here and back into the hallway as I walk you to the master bedroom. And I'll take an extra special time here because I think this is one of the best features of this home is this master bedroom here. The size, it's, it's the size, the light, um, the sense of spaciousness. So I'll walk to the corner again, just so you can get a sense as to the space. All right, now let's head to the master bathroom. As you walk into your left is the uh, toilet, private toilet, dual vanity.
you have your tub here with a, uh, a stall shower. And if the dual vanity wasn't enough, you have a, this cool little makeup counter. And again, I mentioned this home has a lot of storage, a walk-in closet. All right, let's head back out, out of the bathroom into the master bedroom. Now again, I'll just pan again. Yeah, she, so you can get a good sense as to the size of this master bedroom. What's nice, it wasn't at the sacrifice of everything else. You know, sometimes when I see a large master bedroom, I'll see, uh, especially in an 1800 square foot home, small hallway, no storage, you know, the, this bedroom would be small, but it's not. It's a good size. Uh, again, they use the space really well um, in this home for this uh, price point. So as I head back, I do want to show you the patio and uh, walk you through the exterior of the home so you can kind of see how it is and how it's situated. Uh, just a little bit about the, uh, you know, the area. If you're not familiar with Hay Hayward, it's really central to all of uh, the Bay Area, uh, whether you uh, work in San Jose, San Francisco, uh, over, uh, you know, San Mateo, the peninsula. I mean, it's really all truly accessible. Uh, you're close to the bridges of uh, San Mateo Bridge, uh, Dumbarton Bridge, if you wanted to hop on over and, you know, either work, go to work or spend time up in the city or, or you know, head down 880 um, or 680 even and, uh, you know, head over down to the South Bay and enjoy uh, some of the, uh, you know, things that uh, that area has to offer. So again, it, it, it's really uh, logistically um, in a good spot. Uh, and you're not like, you know, right next to the strip, but you're close to where it's not that, um, you know, it's not inconvenient. Um, and, you know, I'll walk you through it. It's a really nice neighborhood. All the homes are, are well kept. Uh, there's a beautiful park nearby, literally like a minute to walk. Uh, maybe, you know, time for a minute, a little walk there. But here's the, the, the backyard. Condenser, fire pit, barbecue grill. You can talk to the seller, see if that you be willing to include that. Uh, you have your access out into the driveway. Uh, this door here allows you into the garage. In fact, let's do that. Let's let me just take you to the exterior of the home. Uh, Oops, I guess I can't do that. Oh, plan B. Let's go back through the house and then I'll, I'll walk out the front door and show you the exterior of the home. But while we're here, there's enough room uh, for you to host guests, have your barbecue, have your kids play outside, enjoy some of this cool sunlight. So we are in the living room once again. All right, so let's, uh, you know, I'll take you through the side where the garage door is. Um, and hey, as, as I'm talking, as uh, you know, if there is interest, uh, you know, ways to reach out to me are uh, by email ron at really.com that's r-o-n at really.com r-e-a-l-i.com uh, or call me 408-484-4413 um, feel free to chat in and leave your contact information if you'd like me to reach out to you but what we're looking at here is uh, the, the side of the home sorry neighbor coming through And then there's the uh, the front again. 
you're uh, close to, you know, lots of great shopping and restaurants. I mean, right across the way. You know, and if you go down that way, uh, there's, uh, you know, Starbucks, uh, Subways, uh, some local restaurants. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip the screen over. Actually, let me uh, do something really quickly here. Now I'll check to see if uh, there's uh, you know, if any of the participants have any questions. So I'll allow for a quick Q and A as I take a walk. And uh, again, time permitting, and if uh, there's enough interest, you know, I, I, you know, we could actually take a walk to the the park that's nearby. So thus far, I don't see any participants here still, but I'll give it another like five minutes or less to see if anybody else joins in. Yeah, so a little bit about the community. Uh, it's called Brighton Village. Uh, there's a park, a public park called uh, Stratford Park. And uh, I'll go ahead and walk you through there. Uh, but as I walk, I'll share some stats with you uh, about this area. Uh, so there's only uh, three other active listings uh, that are like this, um, you know, within a one or two mile radius, um, not very many. So the inventory is you know, somewhat low, but it is definitely, um, you know, picking up. Uh, this is one of the uh, the newer homes, though, uh, built 2004, and I think it's priced right. It's priced well. Of course, you're you're more than welcome to concur with your agent uh, to see, you know, if it's uh, within your range and uh, determining what you would want to offer if there is interest on this home. Uh, the average sale price uh, is I think 830 or uh, 840, uh, and that's based off of the 17 homes that have sold that are like this. Uh, in the last, you know, 30 to, to 45, I think 60 days actually. Um, however, you know, when I looked at the report, you know, the majority of the homes were built 1950, um, 1960, with a handful of them, you know, built, you know, 2004. This particular home was built 2004. It's one of the newer ones. So, you know, in my opinion, you're probably going to be leaning towards actually where this home is actually listed at, which is at 870. But again, uh, see with your agent, and if you don't have one. You're more than welcome to reach out to me, um, and I'll tell you like tell you how it is. You know, I'll give you all the data points, uh, and you and I can discuss. You know, what you would want to offer for um, this home. For any of you that are just joining, uh, my name is Ron. I'm a lead agent uh, with Really, um, doing a live open house um, over at 1574 Welford Circle, over in Hayward. Uh, first time doing a Zoom virtual house, so I'm kind of working on knowing when people jump in who's jumping in, things of that nature. I know it is being recorded, so I'll, I'll, I'll post this um, at some point on you know, my, my social media uh, for y'all to see. But uh, the last string of my tour here, uh, what I think is one of the selling points of this uh, particular home it is, is the area. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned, it is in Hayward. Uh, many people call it the heart of the Bay, so all the other East Bay folks. I used to be from the East Bay, lived here for probably three years out of my 20 years in the Bay. Used to go to James Logan uh, as a senior, so I know this area, I know it well. Started my actually, I started my real estate career um, over in the East Bay. First sale was over in Hayward, but in any case, you can see well kept neighborhood, absolutely well kept neighborhood. On my end, it's a little screen, so I can't see if you can see what I'm seeing, but you know, just, just look at all the homes down the street there, all well kept, less and green on a, on a sunny day like this. You can appreciate the the, the greenery, the color. And then the community itself, where the home is, I mean, $125 a month for the HOA, money well spent. They, they, do, they definitely maintain it. And this here is Stratford Park. So again, it took me, what, a minute to walk from where the house was? Free to, you know, come out here, throw some football, 
Uh, there's a basketball court down there. So if you wanted to shoot some hoops, if you could, there's a, a playground down in the very end, right? Granted, it's, it's, I think it's taped off just because of the shelter in place. But again, uh, it's, you know, really, it's one of the things you should uh, you know, think about when it comes to selecting, um, or if you're gonna consider this, it's, it's one of the features that you know, you'd wanna keep in mind when it comes to um, um, you know, putting in an offer, that's something that you chose, chose to do. So that is it. Uh, if there's uh, any questions, uh, you know, you're, you're more than welcome to, to chat it in um, or just email me in the interim. Hold on. Yeah, or just email me. Uh, either way, again, uh, if you wanted to contact me about uh, this particular home or any, uh, ron at really.com. Uh, you can even go to our website and reach out to us there. Uh, www.really.com. Uh, you can take a look at all the listings. You can see all the cool things we do for buyers. Uh, you know, very, very unique from the standpoint of tech and then the savings that we can give you. Uh, and then any sellers out there as well too. You know, this is one of the many things we do to help our sellers out. You know, just because we can't have you know live open houses doesn't mean we can't do it. You know, here I am doing it virtually. Um, you know, bringing open houses uh, to you. So with that being said, uh, I think it's a good uh, time to to end it. Uh, I'm not really seeing, you know, too many questions pop up, uh, but I'll see you at the next one. I have another virtual open house uh, this Friday at a listing I have in San Jose. Uh, you're more than welcome to join me there. Thanks, everyone. Ron signing off.